In the Basic Details tab, we can begin adding data for our product. Let's type our product number here and a summary description here. The summary description will display on the summary view of ESP Online. The external product ID field will be auto-generated. If we had our own unique ID number, separate from our product number, we could enter it here. This number may be used for future data update importing. Category is a required field, and we can select up to five applicable categories for our golf shirt. Let's select golf slash polo shirts men's and golf slash polo shirts unisex, and then click on apply. We can enter some keywords to help maximize our search results. After each keyword, we'll be sure to hit comma, enter, or tab after each value we enter. Now, we can select a theme group from the drop-down. Let's select Sports, and then click on Golf. Next, we can select the country where this product was manufactured. If our product was manufactured in a country other than those listed, we can choose the country from the drop-down box provided. Then we'll choose the FOB point, which is the location from which the product will ship, from the selections listed. These selections populate from our supplier data. If we need to add or change the FOB point listed in our supplier data, we can click on the Contact Us link. We can use the Shipping and Packaging options to enter further information regarding the shipping estimate, dimensions, weight, item packaging, and additional shipping information. Our shirts are shipped 48 per case, so let's enter 48 here. Then, we'll add the shipping dimensions by typing our values and tapping after each. We can use the checkboxes to indicate whether we bill by the weight of the package or the size. Let's check weight. Each of our shirts is packaged in its own poly bag, so we'll select Individual Poly Bag as the item packaging option. If we provide blind shipping, meaning that we will ship the item without any of our supplier contact information printed on it, we can check the order can be shipped in a plain box checkbox. We also want to include information about our carrier choices. To do this, we'll click on the Add a Custom Shipping Option link. In the Add an Option window, we'll make sure that we're set on shipping, and then in the Option Name section, we'll add Carrier Choices. Then in the Value section, we can type UPS, hit enter, comma, or tab, type FedEx, hit enter, and then type Airborne, and hit enter. Now let's click on Apply. If there are any applicable costs associated with this option, we can add the upcharges from the Upcharges section of the Pricing tab. Also in the Basic Details area, we are able to add trade names by typing in this box and then hitting enter, comma, or tab on our keyboard. We can use this area to enter catalog and product source information, a link to our product inventory, safety and compliance information, disclaimers, and additional product information if applicable. We are also able to enter distributor-only comments, meaning that only distributors and not end-users will be able to see the comments within this box. To make the entire product visible only to distributors, we can check the distributor-only view checkbox here. Now that we have finished entering information on the Basic Details tab, let's click on Save and then click on the Attributes tab.